Um, this pack is light. There's my pinky finger holding the whole thing up. I got pretty close to a full water bottle in there. Um, the, the pack and the gear in there are, for the most part, uh, pretty cheap. And what's happening now, little by little, and I wrote a book, and I'm, you know, a part of the reason I wrote that is to, to keep the ball rolling forward. The, the lightweight camping, I foresee at some point overtaking what would be traditional camping. I think to traditional camping, which is we're all seeing images of it, people with great big boots and great big backpacks trudging through the mountains, huffing and puffing, going uphill, uh, that will be replaced by what what Karis and I have been doing here for the last four days, which is lightweight camping. Um, it, there is a revolution in place. There was 10 years ago, turn the clock back 10 years ago, there were people doing this. They would make their own gear at home on a sewing machine uh, because they couldn't buy it in a store. Uh, there weren't many people doing it, but now there are a lot of people doing it. Uh, that said, it is considered fringe by a lot of people, fringe meaning like on the outskirts, like the, the oddballs, the weirdos, the zealots way off on the, on the extreme edge. And having done this a bunch, I don't feel like an oddball. I don't feel like a zealot. I feel like it's, it's normal for me to do this. And anyone who does it feels like it's normal. Uh, the, the, the folks that, that are traditional campers that try this will change their mind and I've talked to a lot of them, and usually they say it's five minutes down the trail. They have their epiphany, uh, walking with, you know, simple light shoes like this. Uh, we've been out. We have some food left over. We went pretty shy with food. So there's, there's, uh, that pack is as light as it's going to be the whole trip now, because we're, we're, we're just a few hours away from the roadhead. And, uh, and, and I feel like the trip is successful. It was great. Very, very pleasant. Uh, never stressful, never felt like anyone on the team was overexerted, uh, and it felt like things flowed, and that's what I really worked for, like a, a little small community where things flowed nicely. And um, how'd it go for you? I thought it was great. I I could not have had a better time. Great. Yeah. Awesome. Perfect. <laughs> I'm going to drink some of this. <laughs>